Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel where we talk all things life, food, family, and fun. Today we're talking a food hack. We're gonna make some fried Parmesan cauliflower and the hack is no flour at all. So this is gonna be keto approved, low carb approved, gluten free, flour free, nut free. Um, so pretty much anyone can have it. Um, So if you're interested in seeing how I make it, stay tuned, keep watching, and let's do this. Okay, so as you may or may not know, I do follow a low carb diet, and that is for health reasons. And so I am always trying to find recipes that are not only approved for my diet, but taste amazing. They taste like comfort food, and they taste like you're cheating. So this is one of those, it's so, so good. My entire family loves it and um, so I wanted to share it with you. So we're gonna switch over to the footage of how we make this, and then I'll wrap it up at the end. Okay, we are here in our test kitchen. We are gonna be making some fried cauliflower, and this is gonna be a low carb recipe. It's got no flour whatsoever, no almond flour, no coconut flour, no regular flour, no flour whatsoever. So first thing we are gonna need to do is crack some eggs in a bowl. Okay, we're gonna whisk that up with just a little bit of water. If you've not seen my video on how to cut a cauliflower super easily and get florets in five seconds, I will link that up here somewhere in the cards so that you can check that out. But you're gonna cut it into just chunks. This one was a half of a cauliflower I had left over. Okay, so you want kind of chunks like, um, this that are bite size that you can get some coating on. And then we are gonna put that into this egg mixture here. So, yep, yeah. can you dump those in? Can you throw these away? Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much. Now, while he is cutting the other one into chunks, I am going to show you how to do the batter. So, first you put it in the egg mixture. Make sure they're pretty well coated in the egg mixture. So what I've got in this bowl here is some Parmesan Reggiano cheese. And this was just from a can. It's one can, and I'm just gonna break up the bigger chunks in here, just like this. And then we're gonna spice this up just a little bit. And what we're gonna do is add some cayenne pepper. So now this is about a teaspoon of cayenne pepper right here, and I'm just gonna dump this into the cheese. And you can adjust this depending on how hot you want it to be. We're gonna give that a stir. Get all those chunks out. Uh, I always recommend cleaning as you go, as much as you can, because then, when you're all done, you've eaten, you kind of want to relax, you don't have a huge amount of stuff to clean up. So that's why we have assistants to clean as we go. Slave labor. <laughs> He's off camera, but um, his face is... <laughs> I mean, helpers. Helpers, not slave labor. <laughs> no, we're having fun, aren't we? <laughs> I'm watching you, always watching. Okay, so this is for a family of four and I'm doing one and a half heads of cauliflower. You can make as little or as much as you need and adjust your batter accordingly. Okay, I've got our cauliflower here in the egg mixture and I'm just gonna stir this around really well so that all that egg mixture gets in here. We use two eggs for this and just a tidbit of water. I should have used a bigger bowl for sure. Got a bigger bowl. Much easier to get this coated. How many dishes can we use in the kitchen at one time? That's what we're going for. Okay, so we're looking for about like this and uh, it's coated. It's all ready to go. So now I'm gonna take this Parmesan cheese mixture right here, and we're gonna dump this into the bowl. Do you want me to mix it? Oh, so delicious. And we're gonna stir. 
stir. Can I do? Oops. Now we've got it all mixed in. It looks like this, nice and coated. Now when you put this into your deep fryer, it is going to take off some of the coating. Not a lot of it, but there will be some that falls off. It's just inevitable. It happens all the time. So we're gonna put these into the fryer for about three to four minutes and just until they're golden brown and then they are good to go to eat with ranch or low carb ketchup or even jalapeno ketchup or any kind of dip that you like. So let's put these in. Okay, so it's actually not ready yet. Are you kidding me? Okay, so of course, my deep fryer dies. It will not break. It will not It broke. In the middle of filming, it heated the oil up halfway and completely died. No! No! So I have to go out and buy a new one today. Okay, so my deep fryer decided to die today in the middle of filming, of course. So... We're gonna just try and show you on the stove top. All right, you guys, you are the official taste testers. So how about it? Dip it in some ketchup. Mm. 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 I double dip. <laughs> sure. Mm. What do you think? I'm so good. good. So that's the video, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have not seen my low carb lasagna recipe, I will link that video as well as the how to cut a cauliflower super easily video. And hopefully I'll come up with some more recipes for you as we go along. I think that I'm going to be doing my fried chicken recipe and also a chicken coconut curry lime Thai soup, which clearly needs a much shorter name. But if you're interested in those recipes, leave me a comment below on which one you would like to see next. All right, otherwise I hope you're having a great day. Stay inspired to try some new things and I'll see you in the next video. Please, please subscribe. Hit the red subscribe button. If it's still red, you have not subscribed. Oh, you don't like red, except for my shirt. Feel free to share this with your friends and I will see you in the next video. See you, ladies.